Hey yo, it's Devo. What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Rapier Holy Knight Gila SR Rarity. She's blue. She's human. Her little pie chart is, eh, it's not the greatest, but I'll tell you why. She's really good. She's good for farming gold. Her passive unique fills ult mood gauge by one orb at the start of the next turn if the hero doesn't take damage. So that's why her passive is actually going to be clutch for her to actually do her ultimate to just like three turn the red book stage. And her first skill inflicts damage equal to 200% of attack on all enemies, applies two ignite stacks. Uh, you're most likely going to just be spamming her uh, rank one card, inflicts 80% damage on all enemies, and ignites just one stack. And her second card, which is it's a it's it's, it's a healing it's kind of like um king it cleanses and then it um wait remove the buff that's it yeah it heals diminished hp on all allies by 30 percent it's kind of like is it is it just like king i don't i don't think it is let me see let me let me pull up my boy king real fast you know uh where you at where you at king hey you go oh no 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 wrong king what am i doing no come on Debo. come on man come on what are you doing what are you doing? The blue one, the best one. He's the top of the list for a reason. Yeah, remove debust, or <laughs> debust. Heals diminished HP of all allies by 30%. So it's the same card, exactly. Okay. Uh, she heals by 50%, rank three. That's pretty good. So if you can get a crit heal, it, it'll be dumb stupid. Ultimate, remove stances from all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 280% of attack. Applies two ignites. Uh, so she's max SA. It's, it was low 420. Eh, I guess, bro. Hmm, she might be good for the the little JoJo pose Twigo final boss thing. She removes stances, so if you can get her ultimate for the final phase, that'll be that'll be clutch. And then you can get all the points you need, and you can probably get a, a high amount of points. I don't know. I don't think she's since she has since she has like uh not the highest attack and defense and stats and whatsoever let's read her recommended usage oh i'm going to be running her with attack and defense recommended usage gila applies aoe ignites and has a heal that's the same as blue king okay i could have just read this instead of go, going typing for king however her skills have low damage scaling and she does not have any prominent use in game this is where we disagree i respectfully disagree i mean i still appreciate the information you guys provide on the site but i disagree because i will be going in game and showing you her prominent use well i'm not trying to like sneak this the grand cross but i'm just trying to tell you guys that this is like probably the only use for blue gila so you want to go into red book stage press auto and then voila with blue lilia hauser and green merlin in the back you can get it done in like a minute not a minute like in less than a minute uh you'll see right here even even if you get all these heals it doesn't matter because usually you end up one shotting every single phase and watch watch she gets her old gauge at the, basically at the beginning of the next turn if she if she if she hasn't been hit on the enemy phase basically so here we go she has the ultimate and then hauser is gonna clean up no she might do the, another no okay i thought she was gonna do another debuff but there you have it uh level 80 uh she can kill the henchman but sometimes she can't one shot the boss but there it is that's that's <laughs> that's probably the only use for blue gila i mean you can use her in i know some people did use her in some of those final bosses a while ago but i think yeah th th for this showcase i'm just saying like oh use her to farm red books because you can do a super quick you can do like one run in like a minute and then if you do it for like all night right say you sleep for eight hours imagine how many books you're gonna have i mean i mean it depends on how many ap pots you have but still so let's go over here into a regular stage let's like do i don't want to do a dungeon i don't really want to do a dungeon um what do i want to do let's go into the story stage right here i know for a fact the third stage is an aoe opponent so we can just fight this opponent and then we can call it a vi I know this video is gonna be super short. So why not? We can um do this we can do it twice, I guess. Just uh stretch out the video. 
I know Gila, oh, it's still on auto. No, no, we don't wanna do that. No, man, all right, we, we'll still do that exactly. The stack at night, that's, that's gonna make Hauser hit a little bit harder. But if this stage isn't on, night, on Nightmare, these guys don't even die. But um, on normal, I suppose, or on the normal side of it, um, it's still like hard or whatnot. On normal, they, they can get chopped down pretty easily. All right, that was one turn, so she has three old gauge already. We can do this, and she's gonna have her ultimate after this. Well, Hauser is gonna kill him because that 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 ignite stack is pretty potent. Um, at thirty <laughs> percent extra damage makes Hauser hit like a freaking truck. I mean, that's why you run you run him with her. She's a human, and she gets increased base stats and whatnot. Without Hauser, I don't think she hit she hit as hard. Um, with Blue Lilia, she, obviously she adds penetration to the whole team on the field right but with hauser <laughs> the ignite is just op let's um do let's just nah hold on, hold on let's do this and try and get our ultimate i guess as quickly as possible now if she doesn't get hit and hauser just finishes them off which he will right here i think she'll get an old gauge and then after that if we get another one of her cards we can just let's see Oh yeah, that pearl. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do th this and that. And then for the final phase, we can just do a super attack with her, and then we can just clean up Hauser. All Hauser is for this team is just uh, the extra broom. After no, no, I wouldn't say that. Let's say like if you waste trash everywhere, like a large amount of trash. And you pick up like the bulky stuff with your hands first, right? And then Hauser comes in with the broom and just picks up the little tiny stuff. Let's do this, this, and that, and it's over. It's GG. This is the farming team is applicable to <laughs> she wants out of Hauser. No need, Hauser. No need, bro. It was only one piece of trash, but still. Uh this is why SR Gila is good. She She doesn't have any much use elsewhere else because any other stage you would get hit automatically let's do it one more time any other stage you'd get hit auto like automatically like if you're doing a dun a demon uh they have aoe so they're gonna hit you if you fight who else like a pvp most assuredly it's like aoe it's like field in there let's do this and that uh yeah i don't recommend it for pvp because the passive is only i mean you just have to not be hit maybe training case because that's a safe environment you just basically fighting your team so you're good um uh, well fighting your team in training caves uh some bosses maybe when you like need a gila in story mode uh reverse stage for sure let's do this Reverse stage. I know you need a Gila and if you want to get a get up a Gila specifically I recommend the green one because the more cards she used the less damage she takes and that's like really That's really <laughs> helpful and the red one just stacks it or this one stacks it night too, but the red one she gives them extra AP HP stats to in death battles, basically, in, in in demons, basically. So if you run in the back in a crimson and you like have a, a dairy area or a red um what's his name, Zeldris, you know they already have good like uh, life steal. But with the red heal in the back, she definitely like make that life steal like 10% better, which is stupid. So they won't die eventually. Uh, I mean inevitably. So that's gonna do it for today's video, you guys. I know it was really short, but uh, Gila is just that good of a farming unit. Uh, she's just, she's just so good as a farming unit, and she, you know, with that, just this alone, the healing is all right. She's pretty good for like early story mode stages, but that's pretty much it. Not much prominent use, but the only prominent use she has is just farming gold books. That's it. That's all she's like really good for. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the later parts of this short video. I don't know why I always say that, but still, thank you guys for watching. We're on that road to 200 subscribers. If you are new, make sure you drop a like. No, if you are new, make sure you go down there and subscribe to your boy. And if you enjoyed the video, no, not if you're new, don't drop a like. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like because that's what, that's what the like button is for. So, 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the Guild Boss video. All right, peace.